Hi everyone, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. In the last video, we displayed all the users from our Firebase database into our Recycler view. Now in this video, we will add a click listener to the Recycler view items. When we click on a particular user, it will open a next activity and from this activity, we can send a notification to the user that is selected from the Recycler view. So let's do it. And the first thing that we need is a new activity from where we will send the notification. So right click on your package, go to activity and select an empty activity. And I will create send notification activity. Now to make it quick, I will create a linear layout with vertical orientation. And now let's do the drag drop. So first we need a text view to display that which user is selected. Let's make the appearance as headline. Oops. So appearance as headline. Now we need an edit text to insert the title of the notification. And we need one more edit text and edit text to insert the body of the notification. And then we need a button to send the notification. Okay. So we have everything. We have text view user. Then we have edit text title. Then we have edit text body. And then we have button send. We don't need text on the edit text, but we need hint. So let's add some hint. Let's say enter title. Oops, enter title and then enter body. And then we have the button set. Now we need to open this activity when an item from the recycler view is clicked. So let's go to the adapter, which is user adapter. And here we will attach a click listener into this view. So let's attach view dot set on click listener and we will add an on click listener. So we attached a click listener into the item view. Now when this method is clicked, we will open the activity that we just created, but we also need to send the selected user. So first we need to get the user that is clicked. So we will get the user with the help of get adapter position method. It will give us the selected user position and then we can get the user from the user list. So we have the user. Now we need to pass this user object into the next activity. And that is why we need to implement serializable into this class, right? Now come back to user adapter. And now we will create an intent. And the first parameter is context. And the next parameter is the send notification activity dot class. Now we will put a serializable to this intent. So we will give the name user and we will put the serializable object. Now, finally, we will start the activity using the context object and we will pass the intent. So the activity is started. Now in this activity, which is send notification activity, we can get the intent. So we can get the user with user user equals to get intent dot get serializable extra and we will get the user. Now we need to cast it to user and that's it. We have the user. Now we will display the user email into the text view that we created. So we have text view. We have edit text. So we have a text view and two edit text. Now let's initialize all the values or all the view objects. 
so let's text view so let's initialize text view equals to find view by id r dot id dot text view email then finally we have added text title equals to find view by id r dot id dot edit text title then edit text body equals to find view by id r dot id dot edit text body and then we will get the button and we will add an on click listener to this button nice everything is very simple now here we will display the email into the text view the user email the selected user email actually so set text sending to and then we will concatenate user dot email fine now here we will call a method named send notification let's create private void send notification now we will get the title from the edit text title dot get text dot to string dot trim and then we will get the body edit text body dot get text dot to string dot trim so we have title and the body we also want the user token so token identifies the user who is receiving the notification so we need the token as well and we have the token inside this user object so what we can do we can pass the user here to this function now we can receive the user here nice so we have token inside this user so we have everything the title body and the token now we can simply send the notification by calling our api so let's do it but first we will add some validations so if title is empty we will set edit text title dot set error as title required and then edit text title dot request focus then we will stop the further execution the same thing we will do with body so if body is empty edit text body is error and we will change it to body required now here we can send the notification but i'm not going to send the notification in this video we will do it in the next video but let's see if it is working or not so let's click on a user oops it is crashing so guys if your application crashes don't comment that my application is crashing but just check the log cat that why it is crashing so let's see how we debug the application okay so i will run the application again Now I will change the filter to show only selected application. So I will see the logs for this application only. Now click on an item and you see I am getting the exception and it is a very common null pointer exception. And many of you gets a null pointer exception and it is a very simple thing. So let's see why we are getting a null pointer on this line. So the issue is the text view is null. So the issue is this text view is not initialized properly. And this is because maybe I forget to put the correct ID that is inside this activity. So let's check. And this text view has the ID text view user. But here I used text view email so that's why the text view is null and the application is crashing okay so let's run it again so click on an item and you see a new activity is open and we have the selected user here and we will enter the values and we will send a notification in the next video so i hope you found this video helpful 
If you did, then please hit on that like button, subscribe to my channel and tell your friends to subscribe to Simplified Coding as well. So thank you guys. This is Bilal Khan signing off.